Reason number six. The fourth dimension is not a spatial dimension, it's a temporal one. If there are ten spatial or space-like dimensions, and theorists tell us the fifth dimension and above are curled up at the Planck length, then what are they really talking about? How is it possible to have three spatial dimensions, then add one temporal, then six or seven more spatial dimensions extending from that? It would make more logical sense if they said the fourth dimension and above are curled up at the Planck length, because then you would be continuing with an ordered hierarchy of spatial dimensions one after another and leaving time out of the discussion until you were done counting spatial dimensions. But that's not what they say. Why? With my project, I insist it's because we have a unique perspective on the fourth dimension, as creatures made out of 3D atoms and molecules, deriving their energy from entropy-increasing chemical reactions, we experience the fourth dimension as having only one direction, the direction which moves us away from the lowest entropy beginning of our universe towards the highest entropy ending of our universe. But that doesn't mean the opposite direction isn't just as valid. With my project, I explain that if the ten dimensions are spatial or space -like, like, then the first three are spatial, the fourth is a spatial dimension constructed from two opposing directions but which you and I experience in a unique unidirectional way, and the fifth dimension and beyond are spatial. Counting three apples, one orange and six apples, and then saying, I have ten apples would make no sense. Likewise, the fourth dimension is not just time, it's an unfolded structure often referred to as space-time. General relativity shows us how space-time can be bent and stretched, folded or warped with a wormhole or a black hole. It includes the dimensions below and adds two new opposing directions, just as you would see when you added any other additional spatial dimension. And that's how the point line plane postulate is used in these discussions. This is why I say it makes sense to include the fourth dimension in our counting of the spatial dimensions. But saying there is only one label you can put on the fourth dimension, or any dimension, is what both Henry and I discourage. Mm -hmm.